Hi, I'd like to show you a brief overview of the finally released Huawei Network Simulator. It's a, a very cool simulator for drawing and testing networks with Huawei equipment. Um, it is just released by Huawei and um, I'd like to show you some of the features of this uh, simulator. It's like a mixture of uh, GNS3 and uh, Packet Tracer. Mm, there's some kind of bugs between uh, systems uh, Windows 7, 64 bits. So I will run it on Windows XP Service Pack 3 Virtual Machine. Okay. Uh, now I now we uh, I'm running on the Windows XP Service Pack 3 virtual machine, and I have just installed the ENSP Huawei Network Simulator. Well, I'm going to run it, and this is the main console. It's very very simple. Uh, it's just like a GNS3. Uh, here we have routers. Uh, we have this model of router available in this version. This is the Beta 1.0 version, uh, AR1220. Uh, there, here uh, we got we've got some switches, uh, layer three switches, the S5700 platform and the S3700 platform. Here we have a PC and a multicast content server for multicast labs and here we have the cables, cabling in order to connect the equipment. Okay, so it's very uh, easy. We we uh, would like to I, w I would like to show you some example of a very simple topology. So here we just drop down the labs, the routers we're going we're going to use, and then we're going to cable it with an Ethernet cable copper connected to the Gigabit Ethernet interface and Gigabit Ethernet interface 002 OK, so now we're going to start the router now that the router is starting, it's booting up and we're going to enter the CLI, the common light interface and as you can see, uh, the device is running. So here is the prompt. Kidway is the platform or the, the family of, of this of this model, you know. And uh, now we're going to use the system view. Okay. Uh, I would like to show uh, the interfaces here. Okay, so. Uh, we connect the Gigabit Ethernet 002 so we're going to inter interface uh, Gigabit 00, zero sorry Gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 2 mm, I'm going to notch it down and do it down okay So, okay, the interface is, is up, and I'm going to assign it an IP address. For example, 10.1.1.1, .1 .1 .1, uh, mask 30. Okay, and now we're going to power up the second router. Start. We're going to enter the command line interface of the second router. The device's power is, is, is booting up. And with this button, we can tap the command line interface of the two machines here. So, as you can see, we have AR0 and AR1. AR1 is booting up. AR0 is the router we have just configured. 
OK. We're ready. So we're going to enter the gigabit 0002 interface. We're going to undo shutdown. Now I'm going to assign it an IP address that 2 with the mask 30. OK. Display IP interface brief. Sorry. Interface brief. So we have the interface, so we're going to ping the interface of the first router and we have the ping successful. We have a ping successful. So that's the main idea of this uh, simulator. Uh, there's a cool feature uh, when you um, when you just drop down a router, uh, you can uh, bind it to a physical interface. So uh, you could connect the physical, the, the virtual router with the physical world, with the physical, with your physical network. And other cool feature is that you can integrate Wireshark, so that you can monitor uh, the packets uh, that it's traveling uh, through a cable. At this time, uh, in this uh, virtual Windows XP Service Pack 3 machine, uh, I have uh, some problem with Wireshark and it doesn't launch when I start the capture. Uh, I was uh, testing this new software also in uh, Windows Vista and we, uh, I, don't ha I didn't have the same problem. It ran it run perfect on Windows Vista. Mm -hmm. Uh, on as as you can as, as I can as I told you before uh, in a Windows uh, 7 64 bits uh, there's some kind of problem and the, the program crashes but here in Windows uh, XP service pack 3 uh, it runs good so that's it uh, uh, in a, in a, in a very soon I will like to show you uh, some kind of days uh, some some days uh, from now, uh, I will show you uh, a new features of this uh, of this software. But uh, and for now, it's very very uh, we we appreciate the the job done by Huawei, uh, providing this uh, interesting tool in order to uh, in order to test uh, uh, learn to configure Huawei equipment for people who are. Uh, studying for the HCDA certification or HCNT certification. Okay? Thank you.